Hey everybody, it's Cousin Eddie. Welcome to Cousin Eddie's Kitchen. Today we're going to do something a little special for the holiday. The famous or infamous eggnog recipe from jazz icon Charles Mingus. Village Voice published an article. I shared the article on Facebook. Uh, I'll put a link to it in this video. Today I thought what we would do, what would be fun is why not try to create it and see if it's as good as they say it is. Using egg in drinks dates back to the dark and middle ages when people would actually use them more for a curative. Um, the original drink was called a posset and there were several uh, ingredients to it usually involved an egg, some alcohol, whatever you had handy bit of milk or cream and then was made in a posset pot. Somewhere along the lines in the 17th and 18th century it became referred to as egg nog. It also was a simpler recipe and they added sugar. There is a uh, recipe apparently from George Washington's kitchen from the 1700s of, uh, with an eggnog recipe. George uses rye whiskey. He was a big fan of rye whiskey. Traditionally, eggnog uses brandy and rum. And so in Charles Mingus's recipe, it's, it was told to someone over the phone, and so it's not really a measure-by-measure -measure type of recipe. So I've culled what I can from it uh, to make it. His alcohol of choice was Jamaican rum, brandy, and 151 rum. You can't really get 151 rum anymore. It's not really made, at least not here in Tennessee. So I'm just going to make this recipe with Jamaican rum and brandy. In Mingus's recipe, he starts off one egg per person. Right now I have four eggs. You separate the yolks from the uh, whites. He says two sugars per person. Uh, I'm assuming that means two teaspoons per person. We'll find out. Alton Brown has a recipe that uses a third of a cup and a couple tablespoons or something like that, but for this we're going to start off using a teaspoon, uh, you know, two sugars, as in two teaspoons per person. One egg per person, and then one shot of rum and one shot of brandy per person. We're going to take, in this case, I'm going to mix the brandy. Since we do four eggs, we're going to do four ounces. Okay. Jamaican rum, and we're going to do four ounces of that. There we go. recipe actually says to use add milk to the yolks and then cream to the alcohol. I'm going to actually use a little bit of Alton Browns where I'm going to add some of the sugar to the eggs as we mix the egg yolks. We're going to beat mix the yolks with some of the sugar. I'm, I'm using half and half. It says milk and cream, and that's what half and half is, so I'm just using half and half. Next, we're going to take the uh, alcohol, add some nutmeg, more of the half and half. Now at this point, I don't know how much to add, so I'm just going to uh, add a little bit more here, add that in, and then we'll start um, thickening with the whites. Now we're going to beat the whites to 
with a little bit of sugar added. Then it says to fold into, oops, fold into the knob. Smells really good. Okay, I think that's it. I mean, that's all that's in the recipe. Uh, egg yolks, sugar, egg whites, alcohol, nutmeg, milk and cream, blend it all together. Um, it may not be as, it's not as thick, so I probably needed to beat the egg whites stiffer. But I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for a little bit, let it chill, and then we're going to give it a try. Actually, we don't have any room in the refrigerator, do we? <laughs> so the last thing in Mingus's recipe says that you can use vanilla ice cream if you need to keep it cold waiting for guests. I didn't put ice cream in this, um, otherwise, you know, you just serve it. What I did notice is this is not very thick, so I'm sure the alcohol thinned it and I didn't beat it long enough uh, to stiffen those egg whites for sure. Uh, and probably didn't beat the egg yolks long enough or didn't add enough sugar. The consistency, like I said, is actually a little thin from what I'm used to seeing with typical eggnogs. But the flavor profile is probably still there, so let's check it out. Charles Mingus's famous eggnog. Actually, it's fairly creamy and rich. Wow. That's <laughs> um, it's got a kick, but, uh, and I can imagine if it had 151 in it, it would have even more of a kick. Again, probably could use a little more sugar than what I what I used, but uh, that's that's pretty good. And I can certainly see with two plus ounces of alcohol per person per drink that this could uh, easily lead to a a very joyous celebration, and uh, especially at the Charles Mingus house. Well, there you go, folks. This is Cousin Eddie coming at you with Charles Mingus's famous eggnog recipe. Hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from Cousin Eddie's Kitchen. <laughs>